Hi, I'm Van. Now, this tape is about a tool I got a few years back. I can't remember where I got it or it was given to me, but I'm looking for somewhere to plant it, and this is it. Now, this is it. Now, I have two vices that I use in my workshop, but this little vice makes me swivel. As I say, I don't remember where I got it, whether someone gave it to me or I got it in a flea market, but anyway, I'm looking for somewhere where to use it. Holy little vice, little anvil on it, on the swivel. Which come in handy at times I imagine. I think maybe I could get something here for to put on it, put it on. No. Some heavy plate. Let me use this. Maybe make use of this. Now here would be a possibility if I weld it that on there. That would be a possibility. Yes, let's just get a look to see what it's like. And so on. Use the ruler. Let's see. Yes. Oops. That. Maybe I'll have to prop it up with a bit onto this but and it's not interfering with my anvil yes I think that I think that might be a, a decent spot for it make use of it Uh-huh, might complicate or it might complement the anvil in some way. Well we'll try that. Weld this on from behind, strengthen it up with a prop. I think that might do the job. Uh-huh. Well, we can try it. As I say, it might complement the envelope in some way. Now, <coughs> pardon me, there's going to be a lot of work involved in this quite a bit.
Yep. Quite all this will have to be taken down, turned upside down on my welding mounts to weld the plate on. See, all around it, everything will have to come off it to get all this done. Now, I want to entail a bit of work. All will have to be taken off it, turned upside down and put on the welding bench for the weld. And then we can start assembling. So, that's what's in store. I start stripping it down. I have a lot of gear on it. Two holes. Chisels. And these will stay on. I'll come back when I get the anvil off it. That's it. <coughs> ready for me. Ready for lifting the anvil. Go nicely there for the time being. Yes. Nice wee anvil that is. Only but on the small side. Now I've to lift this up, turn it upside down and set it on my welding bench. Now this is where it's going to be on the bench. Turns round, right? Not in the anvil's road. Now on this bit of plate that I got, there's two holes, whatever they were for, but They line up that's two less holes I have to put in the plate but I was toying with the idea of this plate Oh, well, it's a bit maybe on the small side, but making two lugs, welding them on below here, but, and I could hinge it. But I think I'll stick with this for the time being, and if it's not a success, this will be a backup plan. Now, when I put this vise on, there's my chalk, I made this that it would swivel with two Allen screws. I can turn it either which way. It's not in the road there.
this is it turned upside down on the bands. Now this is solid, you may guess the weight that's in this is very heavy. And this is good heavy duty box action. Which makes it very strong. Now I have the plate I'm going to tag it here, here, here for a while. Now this is a very, look at that, very powerful magnet clamp just to keep it on straight and true. Now on this block, <coughs> pardon me, these holes have a purpose. There's a, a hole to match each one different sizes. I used this for to knock out pins or whatsoever and they would have dropped out here. But the holes were the same size as these. I used this for the purpose of the knocking the pins out. What these is for? Before I got this, and I fell in with this in a hardware shop, I had no call for these again. That, that was the purpose of each hole. But they're all small holes to go around. But these, the pins dropped down through. I was going to put a V out across the angle, but I didn't need to when I fell in with this. Now, this is the whole, there's nine different size holes right around it. But I can still use it if I have any heavy pins to knock out when it's sitting the way it should be. On this, I used this for keys when I was, I have it marked out size. It's a job I have turned the block upside down when I was needing a key of different lengths or whatever. So that served a purpose also. Now that's it ready for tacking here, here and here. And these will keep it true. And I have this for a very powerful magnet, uh, a strengthener for the strand I will be putting a, a spacer in here also for to strengthen it all up. And then this is all for my vice. We'll see how it goes. Now, this is all solid. There's a, a good hole. You could have hammered it. A good heavy pin out through it. But this is the way I had it marked out. For the length of keys and that, etc. When I was doing it. There is some weight in that. Oh, it is very, very heavy. You can imagine I did not lift that up on my own. My youngest son gave me a hand up with it. I have this tacked 
and I'm going to tack this angle on for a strengthener. I will knock it off, I'll knock the camera off while I well, for I don't want the flashing to interfere with my camera. So this is done. One, two, three. I am bending this for the. I have this bit cut. Uh -huh. This might do the job. Now I have to cut this for to match in this way. So I get my angle grinder and cut it. Now I have got this round on this. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yes. If I tack that on there, that would be a strengthener also with this. Yep. I'll maybe keep it a bit more here yet. Keep the weight towards the vase. Yes. Yes, I'm thinking that would do the job, yeah. Uh huh. That should do the job. It's just to keep the tension on it until I get it tacked. Yes. I'm keeping it more over to this end for the vice will be here. Try that. So that should do. I think I would take the, the weight of the vice, okay? Doing work on it. most of my welding done. I get the table out over and get it built up with a vice on it. Okay. That is it really for lifting down. There's no way I could lift that on my own. So I'd have to wait to get a a hand to lift it down. Then we will build it up with a vise and essentials that hangs on it. And that should be it. Right. That's the plate on anyway. We'll get it. Right. As you see, it's nice and level. Right. It doesn't have to be level, but that's not bad. Yes. 
Yep. Hey, that's that's the second bolt. Uh, I have to drill two other holes sometime, but I think two would do it at the moment. Get the anvil in. That's a step tightening them up. That's it. The anvil now. What I had in, I had. Punches. Yes. My chisels. Small chisels. Just here. If you just reach for. I have my radio on. this for that. Now that's my for holding drill for sewing etc. I could use that for sewing or whatever. Yes. This is it, it's sturdy enough. Hammers. I use this little hammer a lot. I can use the vise for holding work for sewing and get our other. Little jobs, whatever comes up. Keep it turned down out of the road. It's strong enough. And it's making use of the vice, which I had selling for quite a few years, doing nothing. Yes. 
Yes. Pleased with that. Right. My welding bench came in handy. It comes in handy for holding a lot of gear also, but it came in handy for... Now yeah, there's one item I'm pleased with that I put together. Carries a lot of gear, a lot of weight. Yes. Handy little bench and it's movable, which I'm pleased with good heavy duty casters. I ask me I'm enjoying my coffee. No. I got a little vice I came across it on the shelf I've had it for oh three, four years maybe. And looked at it I thought I could make use of it. So I came up with the idea of putting it there beside the anvil. And if it gets in the road well I'll just have to take it off but I think I can use it okay. I hope some of you have found this of interest. I want to thank you for looking in and for your comments. Thank you for watching. And this is go to Benny Marner. Thanks again.